Well? Abaddon is the destroyer. The Archangel? He was betrayed. He is only a pawn in some greater game. You must bring him peace. Peace? Abaddon is the destroyer. I'm pretty sure peace is off the table. Did you find any clues among the visions? A way to stop him? There was a sword. One which broke the seals. The Armageddon Blade. But... After the seals were broken, Abaddon ordered the blade destroyed on the very anvil of its creation. Horseman... I fear the blade is lost to us now. It will be made again. What else did you see? Abaddon guards the seventh seal. He plots with others to storm the White Gates. Uriel will lead the Hellguard against him and fail. What else did you see? I saw nothing else. I will open a gate to return us. Once it is closed, the Garden and its secrets will be lost forever. When you are ready, I will begin. Hello and welcome back to my Darksiders Apocalyptic playthrough. Remember who holds the leash, horseman. Um, so as I said, Let's go. today we'll be going through and annihilating some folk. By which I mean we are going to be getting the shards of the Armageddon Blade. By which I mean I will be getting the shards of the Armageddon Blade. And then, we'll see what happens, can't we? Anywho... Azriel is showing us the way with his weird mini teleportation skills, which are pretty cool, if you ask me. Which, I mean, I know you didn't, but if you were to ask me, then I would let you know that they are in fact pretty cool. And this is where the first one is. Seek Ulthane. He will help you. He must help you. Abaddon will have scattered the sword's remains, hidden them where none that walk in the light could find them. The Shadow Realm. Good yes. We have the Mask of Shadows. Use the Mask of Shadows. Assemble the broken blade. Then, return it to the forge of the Black Hammer. When this is done, return to me. Perhaps I can serve you one last time before the end. Sounds good to me. Azrael, at any time you could have left me to my fate, dead in the tower, lost among the ashes of Eden. Why do you help me now? When this is over, the Council will see that justice is done. I will kill Abaddon, and all who schemed with him. We all must answer for our sins, Horseman. When the hour of my judgment comes, I will embrace it, whatever the light decides. Yay. Go, waste no more time on me. And tell Ulthane, <laughs> he is the last hope of an old fool. Sure, bro. I'm not going to tell him that, but sure. This ruined world. Find the pieces, forge them at the hand of the Black Hammer. So that's the way back to Eden. The portal stayed open. But hey, here's the first piece. It's very nice. It's convenient that he ports us directly to it, but yes. I am going to fast forward through until I have collected all of the pieces of the Armageddon Blade. See ya!
Oh snap, it's Uriel! This is no ambush, horseman. I come alone. <laughs> I, I forgot about this. Uriel of the Hellguard, a champion of the White City, call you, horseman, to Nex Sacramentum. Fool. Indeed. I lay claim to your life before the Creator. Will you dishonor this law as well? Why? We have a because Abaddon said you understood honor, and because he was the best of us. The death oath cannot be broken until one falls by the hand of the other. I accept. As sad as it makes us to do. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Would you not? Thank you. There we go. Wow, we do not get much chaos energy from you. I am not a traitor. You simply misunderstand me. Well. This seems like an overpowered ability. Why can't we do this? Wow, hey there. You appear to be resistant to Chaos Eater. Which is very interesting. And you can obviously block that with just your basic armor. Which is quite sad. So it's probably better if I use this one. Aha! Punch! Uh-huh. Ow! Ow! Punch again. What are you, Tiamat? What is it with girls just charging war like that and getting punched in the face? Ow! Okay, note to self, do not try and attack her while she's doing this weird angel glowy thing as leader of the Hellguard. It will not go well. Holy Jesus, woman. You no, Uriel, you are the one who underestimates me. Like, in case you haven't noticed, my hand is about the same size as, like, your torso. If that doesn't worry you, I'm surprised. Ah, we have Chaos Form. That's cool. You gonna use this? After you're done with this, I'm going to go into Chaos form and probably kill you. Hope you're cool with that. I'm glad I got all the Abyssal armor, though. We'd probably be messed up if we hadn't got this by now. Because I've only completed this on, like, normal difficulty or whatever it's called. Come on. Uriel. Don't even pretend to stand against this. Even Samael admitted this is one who... There we go. In Chaos Form, we're effectively one who can stand against the, the Destroyer's armies alone. Yes! Yes! What are you waiting for? Harvest this wench! What? Don't you dare walk away from me! The next sacramentum is mine. I decide when the angel dies, not you. You swore an oath to me. On a bound. Abaddon is the destroyer. <coughs> Liar! To protect you, he kept you from the truth. You pledged to follow your lord into hell, never knowing what awaited you, or what he would become. Abaddon. He was betrayed and became the enemy of all creation. Apart from hell. I've been to the tree. Its gift was truth. And I share it with you now. Remember the death oath. Soon it must be fulfilled. Mm hmm. War knew the truth. He knew the future. Interesting how we actually finished in chaos form that time. But regardless. Let's grab the third 
shard of the Wasamajigger. Interesting how they all look the same. And then activate the fast forward to find the other four. But before I do that, I would just like to say that I'm going to go and get a couple more enhancements because we have almost all of them. This one I'm pretty sure we buy and I know where these two are and roughly how to get to them thanks to a friend. So I'm going to go and grab those. Uh, I don't know where these are, but I may give that some thought in the future because I kind of want to collect them all. You probably get an achievement or something for that. I'm not really an achievement hunter, but still it'd be nice to do. Um, and yeah. So I'm going to also collect those when I go. But anyway, activate fast forward again. Yeah. So, there's a chest up there that I kind of, over here somewhere, down here that I kind of want to get to, however one does that. However, more so than that, I believe we have Wicked K to fight. To make your acquaintance war. Yep, here we go. Hopefully this will go well. That was quick and easy compared to how I expected it to go, but apparently it does get harder the more times you face him. Uh, I know of that location, but I don't know about the other like three or so there are. But oh well, I'll go back to collecting shards now. Ciao! <laughs>
Okay, we're here at the final piece of the Armageddon Blade. I don't remember what happens next, so let's keep going. Also, I saved at the not Black Throne, well, at the Black Throne, because I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get back or not, and so I saved again separately in Eden. Anyway, I have acquired Death's Blessing and Fury's Embrace. I also bought Weapon Master, just in case having all of the augmentation things sort of, you know, gave me an achievement, but it didn't. I'm not an achievement hunter, but it's nice to get them when I can. So, this is the seventh piece. So we need to go back to Ulthane to have it reforged, and I think that may kickstart the final battle. I'm hoping it doesn't. But it might do, because I would quite like to get the rest of the artifacts if I can. Regardless, though, where abouts is all thane? It's after the broken stair, not in the Twilight Cathedral. Is he in the Drowned Path? Oh, he's Anvil's Ford. It sounds about right, considering you know he does anvil-y stuff. So let's go here. Yeah. See if this looks about right for uh, Ulthane's place. I'm hoping it will, but you never know. Also, I like how it's effectively sunglasses. Everything's slightly darker, and then it gets brighter. Sunglasses, but a full, full facial mask version. I think that looks way more badass than this, but whatever. Though, that's still pretty badass with the glowy eyes then. But what I don't understand is, Wars eyes are white. Why are they red? Well, like a whitey blue color. Kind of like Azrael's. Um, I think this may be the wrong place. But we'll see. It could be that it's just very close by. Okay, no, this is right. Alrighty then, let's go speak to the Maker. Um, I kind of want to see Wicked K again, but I have no idea where he is. I'm just glad I got that one fight in with him. I can do more in my own time. Ulthane. You can hear the hammer. It's a nice little home he's built here. Really? Cutscene? I'm, ass I'm assuming cutscene. Let's go. My greatest work. Until now. They are getting massacred by Abaddon in the form of the Destroyer. But we have a new sword. Though I do miss Chaos Eater. I think Chaos Eater looks cooler, but that's just because I sort of 
it goes better with war. Like, this is too clean. But, uh, achievement unlocked, ultimate blade. It is the highest level weapon in the game, as far as I know. Like, it starts off at cap level. I think. So, we need to return to Azrael in the Ashlands. But, we will be doing that next time. I know it's probably in a relatively short episode for you guys, then again, even if it was on double speed, it still would have been like half an hour of me collecting stuff. So, yeah. Who knows? But, next episode, we will go and face the destroyer, I assume. For now, though, I'll see you guys in the Ashlands. And remember to restore the balance if you can. It'd be nice of you to do. Oh, it never shoots directly at the camera, does it? Kind of. Okay. Bye.